Hello guys, welcome to CodeCorp and welcome to the part 3 of Masterclass from Sketch. So in this video, we'll tell, learn like how to connect your Spring Boot application to database. So in this particular tutorial, we are using MySQL database. You can use any of the SQL database of your own choice. Okay, so let's move forward. So uh, as you can see in the previous video, I have created one controller uh, which will like getting some of the request in one of the endpoint it was getting name and it was returning the length and the other two points were addition and product so uh, let me tell you the, how the applications work in real time so here is this client so suppose this client is a browser or like postman so from here we are hitting a particular request to the controller so as i have already told you like controller is the endpoint of a particular application through which the outer world connect to your application so here, if I am hitting a request on this controller, what will happen? The controller will forward the request to the service layer. Upon doing the authorization and authentication, everything that is done here only before it gets reached to the controller, I'll explain that in the later videos. So once the request goes from controller to the service layer, here all the calculations or I would say like business logic takes place. So suppose I am requesting for an employee which lives in Delhi. So here all the leg logic of like fetching the employees which are living in Delhi, that all the logic will take place here in service layer. And service layer will reach out to the repository layer and repository layer is directly in contact with the DB. So here if I am passing a particular string to the repository layer, like suppose find the employee which are living in Delhi. So repository repository layer will run a SQL query or I would say any CRUD operation or any find by ID or find by name it will run a query on the database and it which fetch that employee which we are asking which was living in Delhi so after that this repository layer return the data to service layer and then service layer will return data to controller and from here the data will reach out to the client or browser or postman or anything okay so I hope you have an idea now about like how application works in the real world so what is a model so model is nothing suppose there is a table in the database with the name employee so to that particular table which is existing in the database we have a java class which is mapped to that particular label so that java class is generally called model so here if we are looking into the employee table and uh, it is having some of the employees employee 1 employee 2 employee 3 so all these employees were mapped to a particular java class which is a model so this model will be having all the fields like employee id employee name etc etc all these fields will be mapped to this database so let me move toward the next slide May then you will be having a depth understanding of what i am saying so here you can see in java i have created this object oriented class so this is generally called model so here i am annotated annotating it with at the rate entity which means it will be a table in the database and with the name flight so using the spring data gpa hibernate create a table with the same uh, name and same columns these field will be treated as columns in the database and then it will create a table with the name flight and all the attribute of this particular class will be taken as columns so this is a table in db and this is how they get mapped okay uh, in this particular video uh, we'll work like this first we'll install mysql workbench and then we'll create a db then we'll create a spring boot project and then then we will create a data model and that will be all for this particular video so before entering to that let's have a quick recap what i've just told you earlier through that slide so first the data uh, the request goes to the controller that is having all the endpoints then it goes to the service layer that is having the business logic of finding employee or any of the calculation that is the business requirement then it goes to the repository which is directly uh, connecting with database repository having interaction with database and then it returns data to service and then service returns data to controller and then controller uh, represent the data to the representation layer okay so i hope i have told you this twice i think it will be clear for now so let's install my sql so i am using mac os so maybe you can also download it from this dev.mysql.com and you can select your respective so uh, you need to download this community server and download this workbench so workbench is nothing but a like a gui for your mysql server so if you will go inside this 
okay so from here you can select your operating system and then you can just click download and it will get downloaded in your system so after it gets downloaded you uh, you'll be able to see a screen like this and here uh, that will be asking for your root username and a password that you can type it here so here once you will go inside this so you have to enter your password here that is uh, i have written code corp123 and i have click okay so this is screen you'll be able to see this screen so once you'll click on show, show databases and you'll be able to see some of the databases here so what we'll do uh the first step we have done this from here the first step we done so let's move toward the second step second step is creating a db so what we will do we'll go inside this uh, mysql workbench and we'll create a db here so uh i'll create create database and i'll give the database name as rest api okay and if i'll run this query then the database will create get created and if i will again run this show databases then i'll be able to see this rest api database that is created now so the second step is also done so now let's move toward the third step that is creating a spring boot project and add jpi dependency we need to go file new others and search for spring starter so spring starter is nothing uh in the previous video like i have told you like you have to go to any sp spring initializer.io so this is the same plugin here for eclipse you can either go on the website or you can just click here and then click on next so then you'll be able to go at this starter screen so here i'll give a name this to application code corp api so i'll name it as well code corp api so if i'll click package name also i need to change uh, if i'll click next then we need some dependencies that is spring data jpa spring bab we need and uh, what we need we need mysql connector mysql driver so then you can click just finish then your uh, it will take few time and your application will get ready so it's i think it's ready so what you need to do next you need to just go here and you need to create a model that is you need to create an entity class so if i will go here and uh, uh, i'll click on new java class so if i will click employee then i'll be able to see this class is get created i'll annotate it with at the rate entity and uh, annotation table so here i'll give the name what whatever i want to put in the db so if i am giving it as emp or anything so with this name the table get will get created in the database so if i am giving it as emp l o y e so i have given a name that is employee so for now uh, i'll create few of the columns here created this and uh, this long id will be a primary key and first name last name and email i have created this okay after that i will solve it now the main thing is that we need to take care of that is this application dot properties file so here we need to provide the configuration so generally what we do here we provide our db url our password and uh, username and all so that our application gets connected upon running the data from this file will get picked and it will be used to connect with the database using from uh, mysql drivers so what i need to put here first i need to put here like where our database is up and running so i'll give it the url that is this so here it is the db name and uh, in the next line i have to give the username so that is our username is this and then i need to give this our password i have given password also and then we need to give this uh, commands so the next line you need to give this ddl so that it has the authorities so use of this 
command is nothing if you are add adding a new fields in you to your table code then it will automatically get uh, in sync with the table so now uh, we'll try to run this so i'll click here and i'll run as a spring boot application and let's see so okay uh, it is giving unknown database rest apis let me check what are the database name that we have in okay so here we have the name as rest api not apis so we need to change that and uh, so for the logging purpose we use this property so all your sql queries will get logged and they'll be uh, logged by hibernate so for that property to get enabled we use this uh, in the application dot property and for the sql dialect uh, suppose you have moved from one sql database to different sql database and uh, there is some other sql query language so for that to get in sync with all the sql databases we use generally use this ping uh, hibernate dialect so for now uh, you can just comment them out and uh, i have just added this for your future references like if you want to do or shift from one database to another then you can use this uh, properties as well so now once everything is done i'll save this file and i'll try to run so if i'll click here spring boot app then i think it will get run and uh, you can see uh i'll i'll type use rest api my database so hopefully our table will get created in our database so let's check so i'm using rest api now so i'll click on rest uh, show tables so you can see employee table has been created and if i will click uh if i will write tesc description employee so i should get all the fields that i have entered in our entity class you can see id name first name last name let's check if we have these fields only in our class or not so id first name last name email here also id first name last name email so yeah we have connected our application to the database so we have created model so first what we have done we have installed mysql workbench we have created a db we have created a spring boot application with uh, jpa dependency then we have created a model and after that we have run our application and our tables were created so if you will see at this code uh, here so you can see our application is like this so just ignore this so i have created this earlier so for uh instead of e phone i have just given email okay so our application is looking like this so like this uh we are having entity class in our java and it is having respective table in our database so i think that is it for this video uh in the next video we'll look toward like how to apply cred operations like how to create an employee in the database and how to delete update and all we'll look forward to those so until then just keep learning and keep coding and if you like this video just please give me a like and uh, if you your friends are learning spring boot then you can share this video with them so that is for the video thank you i'll meet you in the next video thanks